Shalom, I'm Messianic Rabbi Zef Porat, and welcome to a special Salvation Outreach Update from Jerusalem, Israel. We're living in prophetic times. There has never been a generation closer to the second coming of Jesus, Yeshua, God, than this generation. We're not setting any dates, but we know that the time is near. Amos chapter 8, verse 11. Behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord God, when I will send a famine on the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. We're living in those days right now. Jews in Israel and around the world are hungry for the truth. The veil is being lifted. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. For a Jew who doesn't believe in Yeshua, in Jesus, the word Haruach HaKodesh, the Holy Spirit, is a terrifying word. Yeshua, Jesus, told his disciples, I'm going to send you a helper, the Ruach HaKodesh, the Holy Spirit, and he will teach you the truth, and he will guide you. Yohanan, John, chapter 14, verse 26. But the helper, the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. Jesus, Yeshua, God, was quoting from the Old Testament. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 23. If you turn at my reproof, behold, I will pour out my spirit to you. I will make my words known to you. The only way that someone can understand the word of God is by the power of the Holy Spirit. By repenting and believing that Yeshua, Jesus, is God, he died on the tree on the cross for our sins, rose on the third day, and by his blood, if we repent and believe, we have full redemption of sins and eternal life. And this is the only way Proverbs chapter 1, verse 23 can be activated. If you turn at my reproof, behold, I will pour out my spirit to you, and I will make my words known to you. This is what Yeshua, Jesus, was telling his disciples. He was telling them, I will send the helper to you. I will send the Holy Spirit to you. Only he can teach you the word of God. This is why Jews in Israel and around the world who don't believe in Jesus and Yeshua, who don't have the Holy Spirit, are scared of the word Holy Spirit. Our ministry, Messiah of Israel Ministries, have been sharing Proverbs chapter 1, verse 23, all through the land of Israel in outreaches. We give all the glory to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, Jesus Yeshua. Souls are being saved like never before. As the team were praying in Jerusalem, I began sharing Proverbs chapter 1, verse 23 with many, asking people, who is this helper? Who is the one that can open our eyes to the truth? Who is the Ruach HaKodesh, the Holy Spirit? One of the main rabbis from a yeshiva, a ministry school for rabbis, came out and spoke to me. Harav Alon, Rabbi Alon. I immediately recognized him as he's a known figure in Israel. I introduced myself to him. He immediately asked me, I heard you talking to people about the Ruach HaKodesh, the Holy Spirit. What is this you're doing here? I asked Rabbi Alon, is not the Ruach HaKodesh, the Holy Spirit, a biblical concept? Rabbi Alon said, it's not something you can understand. I told Rabbi Alon, we can't understand the Word of God, but only through the power of the Holy Spirit. I turned the Bible to the book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 23, and read with him in Hebrew. If you turn at my reproof, behold, I will pour out my Spirit to you, and I will make my words known to you. So you said that we cannot understand, but the Bible says that if we repent, the Holy Spirit will fill us up, and His words will be known to us. The rabbi was turning red. The team were praying. There were many listening. He then said, yes, but only the rabbis can understand this. I said, does this Bible verse talk to rabbis or talk to all people? He said, it's talking to all people. I said, then you've answered yourself. But there's a key here. It says, if you turn at my reproof, if you repent, then the Holy Spirit can fill you up and you can understand the word of God. At that moment, something supernatural happened. Rabbi Alon asked, what do we need to do to repent? Explain yourself. I explained to Rabbi alone with love and compassion. All of us, like sheep, have gone astray. It's only through the Messiah that we can repent, turn to Him, and have full redemption of sins. And if we do this, He will make His Word known to us through the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh. 
I turn the Bible to Isaiah chapter 53, verse 6. We all like sheep have gone astray. Each of us has turned to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. We are all small people with a big God. The only way we can have redemption of sins is if we understand that the Messiah came, died on the tree on the cross for our sins, rose on the third day, and by his blood we have full redemption of sins. At that moment, Rabbi alone turned to me and said, Who is this Messiah? It was clear that he knew who it was, but he wanted to see if we would deny the name of Yeshua in front of people. I turned to Rabbi alone and said, Yeshua is the Messiah. Yeshua is God. Yeshua is the King of Kings. Yeshua is the only one who can take away our iniquity. And if we believe and trust in him, the Holy Spirit will enter into us, teach us the word of God, and give us eternal life. And that's what Proverbs chapter 1, 23 is speaking about. It was supernatural. I've never seen anything like it. And Rabbi Alon sat down on a rock right there in the old city. I sat next to him. He started to weep and said, I want to believe in this Messiah. I want to believe in this Yeshua. I want to understand the word of God and receive the Holy Spirit. He was saying it out loud. It was almost like he forgot where he was. Some of the Messiah of Israel Ministries team heard this and stepped over and started to pray for him, as you can see here in the pictures. The rabbi stood up, repented, received Yeshua as his personal savior. And for this, we give all the glory to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, Al Yehuda, the Lion of the tribe of Judah. Rabbi Alon will now be joining one of our discipleship classes. We pray that more rabbis and more Jews in Israel and around the world will come to know that Yeshua, Jesus, is the Messiah. Continue to stand with us for prayer for Rabbi Alon as he is now entering the sanctification process. And we pray for all those that heard the gospel. Let's continue to stand together as the one new man, Ephesians 2.15. Bring the gospel back to Jerusalem and go home. Until next time, I'm Messianic Rabbi Zef Porat sending you blessings from Jerusalem, Israel in the mighty name of Al Yehuda, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, Jesus Yeshua, Amen.